Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Back again with another ROM review for the AT&T Galaxy S2. As you can see, we are tackling the Doomsday ROM version. Oh, what version is that? 1.3.1. There you go. Uh, this thing is really cool. Uh, it's brought to us by the Phone Guy USA, and he has really put a ton of stuff in this. ROM, like I, it's it's insane how much stuff. Uh, we're gonna go through it a little bit here. It's based on the 2.3.4 UCKH7 for AT&T. He has the theme settings menu. Uh, TouchWiz 4.5 is ICS themed, ICS themed dialer, ICS music player. Uh, the message app has been themed. It's got the ICS camera, rooted diodexed. Uh, Wi-Fi and USB tethering has been enabled. It's got the ICS animations, ICS wallpapers. Uh, this thing is just full of stuff. ADW launcher, uh, removed the bloatware. It's running the SIA kernel. So, we will set the phone up and come back and take a look at it. We'll go in. All right, be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So let's get this thing booted up. Like I said, we're running the uh, Doomsday ROM for the AT&T Galaxy S2. Been very impressed with this. I've been using it all day, and uh, just really like all the customization you can do with this. This is the the big thing about this ROM. I think is you can change virtually everything on this phone, including the lock screen. You see, we're running. Uh, this is the JK. AOSP lock screen with the tabs, multi tabs, and uh, you can customize all these tabs too. You can have them unlock whatever you'd like. Now, right out of the box, you get the ADW launcher at the top as well as Touch Wiz 4.5. Uh, the other two I added myself. Um, but you'll see the Touch Wiz 4.5 is the ice cream sandwich themed, and um, thanks to the Preference settings, you can completely customize your dock here. As many icons as you want, um, or not as many as you want really, but you can mix and match what you want down there. Uh, I took out one of them and just left the three. I think that's kind of a cool look. You can also customize your app drawer with using that. And that is only the beginning of the customization with this ROM. It's really pretty cool. So you'll see it's got the uh, continuous scrolling in the app drawer. You'll notice the red dots indicate um, pr programs that are open that are running in the background. You can change that as well. You can get rid of those if you'd like. Let me clear all these things here. We have uh, the quick panel toggles at the top are completely customizable as well. You can add and remove as many as you'd like. I only have these here. Um, you can also get rid of the labels if you'd like. You can also add quick launch icons right below here using uh, this app that I'm about to show you here in a second. So really cool, got the Doomsday logo down there at the bottom. This is a uh, animated ice cream sandwich wallpaper that I've got going. So here are the uh, important apps that are included that I, I went ahead and pulled out so we can take a look at. Clockwork Mod Recovery app, which is great. You can uh, do all your Clockwork Mod things in there, flashing a ROM and updates and all that. Spare Parts, another great tool for customizing. You can change the entire system font size um, and just all kinds of different stuff. But the JK uh, Deluxe settings is really where it's at here. This is this is awesome. I love this app. You can do all kinds of things. You can change the lock screen, lock screen wallpapers. You can set it to um, lock screen or home screen or transparent if you'd like. Too far. Um, but then you can go in and change the uh, quick panel settings. Like I was saying with uh, changing the panels up at the top or adding the quick launch icons. 
You can get rid of the carrier name if you don't like that. You can get rid of the labels. Um, you can customize the extended power menu here. You can take, take off the header title here. You can change and add and remove and rearrange all of these if you'd like. Uh, that's not what I meant to do, but. So you see there's no um, CRT on or off animation. That's the only drawback to this ROM that I've found so far. I, I really like the, the CRT off animation. Some people don't, um, I do. So if they could add that, then I think this ROM might be perfect. Uh, it's running the SIA kernel, which the uh, developer says can be clocked to 1.6. I haven't tried it myself yet. It has the ice cream sandwich camera, which is also uses the volume mod to where you can take a picture holding down the volume buttons. If you hold it down, it will autofocus, or you can just quickly push it to take a quick picture. You know, as, as quickly as uh, Galaxy S2 can take it. Got the accurate body mo uh, battery mod. All kinds of stuff. Ice cream sandwich dialer. And you'll notice this green, this light green throughout the whole um, ROM. This, the theme is carried out throughout the whole ROM and it's really nice. The uh, messaging, click on it, there you go. You can see is uh, the dark background, the dark background of the dialer, or not dialer, excuse me, the um, keyboards. We'll take a look at uh, ADW. You've got the, the themed Google search bar. I really like ADW as a launcher. You see the overscroll glow that is included as well. Take a look at uh sure now we won't. You've got ice cream sandwich wallpapers that are included. Some of your standard wallpapers that we're used to. So really, really nice. I, I really enjoy this ROM so far. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, that's not what I want to do here. There it is. Sorry, I can't get my head right today. Let's run uh, Quadrant Standard. Some people don't like Quadrant Standard. I still like it. Um, I love to see how much higher my phone is, how much faster it is than the others. Not to mention just the animation. I mean, I wanna go walking through a castle, up some stairs and into a room that looks like it's breathing. How awesome is that? There we go.
There we go. Here, let me take a look. Uh, 3646. They make the writing so small on there. I wish they would. You've got all the space down here. They should make your score just really big right there. 3646, uh, not too bad. Maybe I will uh, overclock the uh, kernel here in a minute and put that score on there. So, pretty good. I've enjoyed this ROM all day long. Like I said, I think I will um, continue to use it for a while, put it through its paces. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you like the video, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.